So far tonight, we've been sharing overall vote totals in the biggest races, but it's time now to dive deeper into how those results are coming in on a more local level. Jim. All right, you know who we're going to right now? 11 Alive's Kristen Crowley is here to take us county by county. Kristen? Yeah, I love this technology that we have here at 11 Alive because it really does give you that deeper look. And really quickly, before I start showing you all the nuances of this technology, see, I can click on individual counties. It tells you exactly how many votes they have at this point. I want to address the fact that there's a new law in Georgia that by 10 o'clock tonight, all the precincts are supposed to let you know how many votes were counted. Cast. So that way we know how much longer there is to go in this race. If, if a candidate has 700,000 votes out of a million, we know that that candidate has won. So going now to the governor's race with uh, Governor Kemp, uh, he's got to be feeling pretty good right now. He's holding a lead right now of 51% statewide, and we still don't have some of these outlier counties here like Pickens County and Lumpkin County. Those results aren't in, and they're going to lean Republican. And then when we zoom into the Atlanta metro area, where Stacey Abrams is expected to do really well, Fulton County, 71% of the vote, not surprising. DeKalb County, 84.7% of the vote. But let's check out the heat map. And you can see here that this shows in Clayton and DeKalb, she's doing really well, but the light blue shows she doesn't have as big of a Democratic lead. And she really needs that if she wants to overtake Brian Kemp or uh, Governor Kemp. So let's zoom out here because another race that is on everybody's mind right now is, of course, the race for U.S. Senate. We have Raphael Warnock and uh, Herschel Walker here uh, looking like it would be a tight battle. I think a lot of people were expecting a runoff. Part of the reason for that is we have this third party candidate here, Chase Oliver. He's got almost 2% of the vote. Why does that matter? Well, these candidates need 50% plus one vote in order to avoid a runoff. Right now, uh, Raphael Warnock has 51% of the vote. But that's if the numbers hold right now, there would not be a runoff. And uh, we've got 56% of the votes in so far. So we could certainly see a change. But one thing that the Walker campaign has got to be feeling at least a little bit nervous about is that you see here he has 1.24 million votes. Let's take a look at Governor Kemp. 1.364. Why are those numbers so different? In theory, when the Republicans are going to the ballot box, they're, they're voting Republican, they're voting for these same candidates, but uh, you could see a definite difference here. And what we're being told is that some people might be skipping this ballot. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding uh, Herschel Walker in the last few months leading up into this election. So it may be affecting the way people vote. It may be leading them to vote for the third party candidate or skip this race at all. I also want to take a look at the race for Secretary of State because Brad Raffensperger has been performing really well all night tonight. 51% of the vote to Bean wins 46% of the vote. Uh, there were questions back in the primary whether Raffensperger was going to win. Purdue was a really big challenger for him and Raffensperger won handedly. Uh, it appears he's going to perform very well in the state tonight. Again, 56% of the votes coming in. We'll have to keep a close eye on everything. Anything could change, but as it stands right now, Raffensperger's camp's got to be feeling pretty good as well. So these numbers are changing by the minute. We're going to continue to keep you updated on them throughout this new technology that we have here at 11 Alive to bring you the latest results in this election. Back to you. All right.